Okay, this is video three of the chain whip series. Check out uh, our previous two videos, video one and two. We talked about chain whip basics, how to hold it, how to open it, how to swing it. Um, I would check out those two videos uh, for a recap and review before doing this video. And uh, as usual, please give us comments, whether they're positive or negative. Uh, we enjoy the positive ones, though. And subscribe to our channel and check us out on phoenixlongevityarts.com. Okay? For this particular day, we're going to talk about the yin and the yang nature of the chain whip, the highs and the lows. Chain whip is a weapon that can be spun very fast, but also can be stopped whenever the practitioner wants it to be stopped. So for today's exercise, I want you to get it going, get it spinning. Okay, we talked about before, a fast spin and a slow spin. So get it going really fast, and I want you to have the body. So as soon as I kind of get like a rock going, it's just to illustrate to you that we're using the body, not just the arm. So eventually you're gonna be nice and strong and going back and forth in that thing over. Now from here, I want you to be able to kill it and stop it from spinning without, without whip going slap. Think about a little kid on a swing going back and forth. The swing is safe for them as long as that the chain stays taut. The minute it goes slack and starts bouncing around, you got a kid who's gonna be needing a hospital. So for this particular spin, get it going nice and fast, and then use your arm and kill it without it going slack. Keep it going like that. Then you can just launch it again. Get it going fast, and here. So we have the yang nature of the width, the fast spin. We have the yin nature of the pause and the stop. Okay? Now, the reason for this is because we're gonna do a move. We're gonna jump through and take our left hand and we're gonna push on the whip, get it going really fast, okay? So again, do it with me. Get your whip, take your hand, grab it, push it really fast that way. Now, on the next time, I want you to take the whip, push it through, and then kill it without the whip going top or going slack. Again, fast, take your hand, go faster, kill it. Good, just like that. So there's a couple other moves we can do with the whip from a fast position. One builds off our skill from last time where we, actu where we actually have the next spin. I can actually next spin it, get it going fast, and then kill. So that builds from last week. Again, from here, spinning, next spin, arm, kill. Again, from here, next spin, arm, kill. And up, grab the dart, catch it in the middle, lift the ends up, and you've got it closed. Subscribe to our channel, check out phoenixlongevityarts.com, practice this video. Next week's video, uh, um, exercise four in our series, video four, we'll cover some more detailed spins. This was kind of like a, a principle video. Turn in next week to uh, see the next skills. Thank you.